Hi guys, Midi Plays here, bringing you another installment in the CP universe. This is the final one of the Block of Nine. So we're, we're going to be doing another eight player tournament today. Let's just quickly go over the rules one last time. Um, so this is for this block of tournaments and then the rules are going to be back to default for the next set of uh, 16 player purple comet tournaments. So three stocks, seven minutes as usual, uh, level eight CPU, battlefield and Omega stages instead of the normal uh, tournament legal ones, the six limiting, very limiting tournament legal ones. Uh, no items on as usual and yeah, again, any battlefield or Omega stage can come up uh, and yeah, as usual, launch rate one times and everything else is default so uh, oops yeah now it's default <laughs> okay so first up we've got Rob versus Shulk for the first fight so without further ado let's get Rob and Shulk let's kick it off I'll just quickly full screen this See what the audio is. Also, I dropped 30 frames. I don't really know how. Hey, Quest, what's up? Really good to see you. I still need to give you your six spins, by the way. If you're still here by the end of this, um, by the end of this tournament in an hour's time, you've got six prize spins because you've subscribed three times uh, since I introduced it. So. Yeah, I'll definitely do that after this. And if you're, if you're not still here, then I'll spin them anyway, and you'll still get the prizes. Okay, Rob, 105 damage already taken. Uh, Shulk, not so much, only 48. Uh, Rob is, again, triple digits. Going to get the grab and then the back throw. Almost kill him with that, but it's not a massive amount of knockback for that move. Rob kind of retaliating. He's going for, an, um, for some tilt attacks. And down aerials are really going to be crucial for Rob. Okay, Shulk using the speed boost, but nothing really coming out of it. Rob is really vulnerable right now. But just doing Nairs is not going to help Shulk. Shulk's almost at triple digits now. And Rob actually gets the first kill, surprisingly, after all that. Um, really interesting there. Did not expect that to happen. Goes for the uh, for the full neutral B. Obviously, with Rob, um, over time by doing nothing, he actually charges up his laser, and then when the uh, the light on the top of his head is fully flashing, he will get the full charge. So right now it's not flashing, so he's got no laser. Now it's flashing a little bit, so he's got the small laser. They just fired. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's back to zero. Shulk though, halfway through roughly this stock. He's used the buster move, but nothing's really come out of it. I believe it it boosts damage, buster. Looks like he's going for buster again, but it's not yet back. Oh, he goes for the nice shield there into the uh, speed boost. Not sure what he's trying to do with the speed boost. Oh, and he got launched into the side of the stage. He's down to the last stock, and Rob suddenly is really far in front. It's just how much of an advantage he can get from this. Nair isn't going to work for Shulk. Just trying to get a little bit of chip damage while uh, Rob's off the stage, but it's just not working. And Rob, just with his down B, he's getting so many hits with that, considering it wasn't charged at all, really. A lot of down smashes, but none of them are connected. Oh, and nice one there by Shulk. He's uh, just doing a Nair and uh, able to launch Rob into the side of the stage because of the angle we hit him at. Now we're down to the last stop. Shulk is still 70 damage behind. It's still all to play for. All we need is one massive combo from Shulk. And there we go. 36 damage. 52 damage now just from two moves primarily. Going for the speed boost again. Oh, he gets the up smash, but it's not going to kill. Rob's going for the down B. Oh, he gets the full laser, as I was talking about. Full laser actually does connect there. Shulk on 110. All we need is one uh, smash attack from Rob. And that is going to conclude the game. He goes for the pummel, and then, oh, he's stuck in the ground, and he goes for the down smash. Nice combo there for Rob. Uh, obviously, because Shulk was quite late into the stock, it took him a, light, a while to get out of the ground. So, uh, yeah, great play there by Rob. So now we're moving on to Roy versus Joker. And bear in mind, uh, Shulk is not out of the competition yet. 
Uh, wow, we've got so many high levels in this tournament in terms of normal competitive play. I mean, Shulk is one of the best. Rob is also really high um, in popularity. Joker is literally the best character. Yeah, so this is a double elimination tournament. So just because Shulk lost that match doesn't mean he's out yet. And we're moving on to Roy versus Joker now, followed by Peach versus Mario, and then swiftly followed by Ice Climbers versus Bowser in the final match of round one. So we're actually playing on Final Destination here. Both on roughly the same amount of damage, but obviously Joker's got the arson meter just just above his icon there in the bottom right. Once he's got that full pink bar, he's gonna it's gonna turn blue and he's gonna unlock arson. Just that counter is gonna massively boost it, and there we go. Uh, his moves now do a lot more damage than usual. But yeah, what have you been up to, uh, Quest and Moddy Fox, if you're still here? What have you been up to during quarantine? Okay, Joker's down to two stock now. Roy, actually with a small advantage, how much of an advantage is he going to have, though? Especially because Joker is going to get arsed. Oh, he goes to the down smash. Every move that he's using and every hit he's taking is charging the arson meter. And he slightly charges it over time. As you can see, it's still going up even though no hits are landing. And finally, he's going to get it for the second time this match. Roy not able to get anything after that up B there. Obviously, Joker's very vulnerable while he's using uh, the up B with arson because he goes really high up. Roy is really vulnerable. He's on 156. He's not dead yet, though. There you go. Smash attack. And it's two stop apiece. And now suddenly Joko is down to the last stock. Roy is an entire stock in front now. Really interesting that uh, Joko, one of the best characters competitively. Against Roy, not so much used competitively in real Smash. Uh, he's actually really outperforming right now, and Joker, just one smash attack from Roy could do it, or even just the neutral B for Roy. He goes for the counter, not going to land though. Forward smash does land. Oh, he's going for the edge guard, but in fact, he's going to have to defend now. He almost couldn't recover there. That could have been crucial for Joker, but unfortunately, uh, nothing's happening from it. Arson is now gone, and it's not looking good for Joker. And yeah, Joker does die with Roy on two stock, actually. So uh, really, really early kill there. So Joker goes down to the loser's bracket to face off against Rob. Oh, sorry, to face off against Shulk, I believe. <laughs> Next up now, Peach versus Mario. Peach, again, highly regarded as a top tier character. Versus Mario, obviously from the same series. This will be uh, an interesting fight to see how it goes down. Their debut fight for both of these fighters. And it's against uh, each other in the same series. And then uh, coming up after, Ice Climbers versus Bowser. Followed by Shulk and Joker in the loser's bracket. Yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying the tournament so far. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream in general as well. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you follow on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, all these links are in the description. Um, and if you want to follow on Twitch, obviously, if you're on Twitch, you're right here. Uh, <laughs> so you don't miss any of my future streams. On YouTube, if you want to subscribe over there, uh, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, and I post all the archives of these, uh, of these tournaments. But on Twitch, you can catch them firsthand. Uh, and on Twitch... Uh, sorry, and on Discord, I also announce when I'm going to be going live. 
Uh, most weeks I do these tournaments now, but next week we're actually going to have a one week break before we get into the big 16 player tournaments. Um, nice grab there by, by Peach, including the pummels. A lot of turnips being thrown, but no bob -ombs coming out. That would be interesting if there was a bob <laughs> Uh Yeah, I also have a challenge page for the CP universe, and you can check out all the brackets over there. So the current bracket uh, is over there on that link that I've just put in chat, or that Midibot just put. Oh, nice counter. Hey, Super Mario Bros. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're doing a um, CPU League tournament here. This is the ninth one in the series. We're almost at the end of the block of tournaments. Uh, this is double elimination. We've actually got Peach and Mario randomly selected to play against each other for their debut. Fantastic start. And Peach is down one stock. Mario's really late on, but he does actually get the first stock in his favour. Mario really close to death. Aerial attacks though, and the tornado, no. Yeah, all we needed was one tilt attack there, and uh, Peach managing to kill. Small down smash, and a lot of uh, a lot of floating going on with the uh, with the kicking move. Really similar to how competitive people play, to be fair. And a lot of turnips too, trying to pull out a bob on. Oh, he's, he's just going to get rid of that bob on though. Peach has got a small uh, disadvantage right now. It just depends if Mario can uh, can keep that. And yeah. Uh, Peach is actually decreasing the advantage now. Mario is trying to increase his lead. Surprising, actually, how Mario is in the lead. Oh, nice intercept of this side B. Perfect timing. But the counter, again, is going to deal a lot of damage. Art B is actually going to uh, deal damage to Peach. While Mario recovers. Unlucky up smash there by Peach. Oh, the turn it misses, unfortunately. He went for the uh, for the flood move, but it didn't land. And the forward smash, basic forward smash, manages to get Peach down to the last stock. That was a nice parry there by Peach, but she wasn't able to convert it into a uh, a kill, unfortunately. And that's really what the CPUs often struggle with, uh, converting anything into a kill. Peach needs to go for a turnip here. She needs a bob -omb or something. <laughs> that is really what she needs. Nice counter again by Peach. And both of them actually down to the last stock now, but Peach is really late on into the stock. All Mario needs is one smash attack again. Peach is trying to make a comeback though. Although she was really far ahead at the start, she's trying to make a comeback. All she needs is one smash attack. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, down aerial though uh, is going to make sure Mario seals the victory. And Peach, again, really high tier um, human character, is out of the competition. Really long match there though. Ice Climbers versus Bowser is the final match in round one. And then we're going to be moving on to Shulk versus Joker in the losers bracket. So, Ice Climbers introduced in melee. And Bowser also introduced in melee, technically, as a playable. So, again, the loser of this is not eliminated just yet. Three, two, one, go. Ice Climbers versus Bowser for this one. 
and instantly, wow, they go straight for the freeze there. Nothing coming out of it, but they do a lot of damage just with the freeze. Fire coming from Bowser. This is on an Omega stage as well, so uh, things like the ice mechanic for, uh, or the ice move for ice climbers would be a great um, move to do, just for chip damage. And it's a nice attack from Bowser there. A lot of damage, but he's actually behind by eight right now. Nice up tilt. He's actually going to slightly take the lead. Oh, and he actually manages to smash attack. Um, I can't. I can never remember the pink one's name. Honestly, I'm so used to this. Nana. Nana, I believe, is the uh, is the pink one's name. So uh, we're left with just the blue ice climber now, and he's actually stopping him from recovering. Gets the uh, gets the parry, but it's just how much damage is he going to be able to do? And not much apparently. The fair uh, manages to get the kill. Nice freeze uh, dodge there by Bowser with the shield. He actually dodges mid air three times, and he's not taking much damage from it. Missed opportunity there for ice climbers. Oh, smash attack there for Bowser, and it took a long time for him to concede the stock, but they're finally back to even figures. Nice up B there, and 23.9 damage dealt to uh, to the blue ice climber, and that is that is not going to be great for them. It kind of would have been better if both of them took the same damage, because now uh, they're going to be slightly split up with damage, and so uh, they're going to get knocked back differently, and so they're going to be more separated during this stock. So, it would have been much better if they both took the hit there, just for that one. Either they both take the hit, or neither of them take the hit. And if it's not that, then it's really not helpful for them. Becoming um, misaligned with their uh, with their damage. Both hitting 90 damage now. Ice Climbers on triple digits. Yeah, and as we see there, barely able to do that up B. We're not that close to each other there. Oh, nice smash attack, and blue one dies first. We're down to... Oh, Bowser with the BM. Bowser with the BM there. Goes for the grab, but the blue ice climber is able to stop it. It's just how much damage can Bowser do in this stock? Wow, interesting there. Tilt attack getting one after the other. Bowser gets knocked into the side of the stage. Is he able to recover? Barely able to recover. He's still on two stock. Oh no, Nana's died. And yet we're relying on just one Ice Climber now to take out two stock for Bowser. This is a tall order. All we need is one smash attack by Bowser. And that is going to seal the win for him. Ice. There you go. Dealing a bit of damage. Smash attack. He's only eight behind. But it is just one Ice Climber. He goes off the stage once and he is dead. He needs to do a serious combo here. Nice aerial attack by uh, by Bowser. Up throw. Oh, the smash attack misses. Or the tilt misses, even. And dash attack does land, but it's not going to deal enough damage. And we do need a, uh, a smash attack. There you go. There's the tilt. And uh, that's able to kill Ice Climber number two. And Bowser takes the win with uh, not a very big lead, to be honest. Okay, so coming up now, Shulk versus Joker. Shulk introduced in Smash 4 versus Joker, one of the DLCs in this very game. It's just going to be a matter of which one is going to take this win, because the loser is actually going to be not just going out of the tournament, not just joint 7th place in an 8 player tournament uh, they're also going to be losing 2000 score and in this tournament it's actually a really generous tournament because um, there are only 2 players that lose 2000 and there are some big prizes at the top, uh, winner gets 23,000, second place gets 13k so some very big prizes in this tournament considering it's an 8 player and Joker gets arson but he's just not utilising it Oh, nice counter by Shulk. 
he's almost taking uh, taking Joker to triple digits already. A lot of nares going on, a lot of counters going on. Only one has landed. And the nice up smash there by Shulk. He's almost going to lap Joker while he's on two stock. I'm just trying to log into challenge on my iPad. Because <laughs> that'll be easier than uh, doing it on the PC. There we go. I got him. <laughs> okay, Arson is back. But Shulk is almost an entire stock ahead. Yeah, there you go. He's lapped him officially. And Arson not getting any use. Clearly, he's not as good of a CPU as he is human character. Let me change the characters as well. Joker. And Joker's down to the last stock. Wow. Shulk is looking like he could get a 3 stock. He could get the first 3 stock of this match. And don't get me wrong, Shulk is a very good character. Um, there you go, he goes down to 2 stock finally. After 2 minutes 35 seconds though, that was a really long life. Um, although Joker is a very good character, Shulk is not to be sniffed at in competitive play. He's got a very good Nair attack with the sword going all the way around, the Monado sword. Uh, so he's not to be sniffed at, as I said. Smash attack, obviously dealing more knockback, but it's not enough to get the kill. Almost gets him to the left blast zone there, but not quite with that down smash. Is Joker going to be able to bring this one back? All we need is one smash attack and the game's over. But Joker, bringing Shulk to 68 damage. It's going to be a very long fight if Joker does try and uh, seal this win. Joker just doesn't want to be out. All we need is a, a side, um, back throw, but it's still not going to kill. Oh, tilt attack kit. Um, deals a lot of knockback, but he's all the way on the other side of the stage. Up B is finally going to kill him. And Joker is 7th place, joint 7th place, and he's actually out of the tournament. So Shulk takes that win. Okay. Next up, Peach versus Ice Climbers in the losers bracket. So let me change the characters again, Peach and Ice Climbers. And again, loser of this is going to be out of the tournament. Alright, one moment. 
One moment. Okay, I'm going to update it on my phone from now on. <laughs> Just to make it quicker. And Ice Climber's down to two stock. Peach really down onto the stock and straight away Ice Climber's confirmed that kill. And we're straight into two stock each. Uh, completely evenly. Alright, coming up after this we've got Rob versus Roy. Which is a painter type because he's got a load of dots in his name. Rob versus Roy. And then followed by Mario vs. Bowser, another themed fight. Winners having a themed fight as well. And as I spoke about earlier, um, very split up there, um, the two ice climbers, and the blue one not being able to recover. If Oh, Mr. Saturn! Mr. Saturn has been pulled out of the ground. That is a really rare chance. I believe that's like 124. One in 124. And a really high damage in turnip there, too. Really good RNG for Peach. Um, yeah, she's holding on to that Mr. Saturn. And as we know, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we actually saw... Oh, um, if they shielded and Peach threw a Mr. Saturn... I actually managed to break a full shield using a Mr. Saturn because that's the uh, the perk of Mr. Saturn. It doesn't do much damage, but if someone's shielding, uh, it breaks their entire shield. So we're on to the last stock here, and Ice Climbers are making a comeback. Ice Climbers now on triple digits. Oh, but Peach. Oh, she gets the kill on the blue one. And there you go. That is two times in that match, actually, where uh, the blue one died before Nana. But there you go. Peach takes the win. And Ice Climbers join Joker in joint seventh place, losing 2,000 points each. Bear in mind. So now, we're moving on to Rob versus Roy. Back to the winner's semi-finals now and again it stays as best of one in these tournaments really quick rapid fire tournaments next week we've got a lot more best of threes going on than just the grand finals so rob versus rory Three, two, one, go. nice and easy to change the uh the icons though so, as I said, Mario versus Bowser, and then it's followed by uh, the loser of... Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> so, Peach took the win last match. One, and Peach won. Yeah, it doesn't seem to update very well on uh, on mobile. Have to keep reloading. Yeah, so the loser of this one against Peach is going to be the next match. So both taking significant damage. really even right now both 129 there you go rob takes the first stock all oh, laser but it doesn't land unfortunately oh nice nice mid-air grab by roy there of the uh of the gyro down b oh up smash does a lot of damage into the up air for, uh, for Rob. And actually taking Roy to 74 damage. Oh, I feel like he's going to get smacked into the side of the stage. Oh, I didn't expect it to be that way around, though. I genuinely thought it was going to be Rob to Roy. But no, apparently Roy getting the stock there instead. So Rob's down to two alongside Roy. Oh, really high charge down smash there. Oh, two nares. Two nares there, back to back. Oh, nice counter. 13.3 damage by that. 
Uh, not a massive amount, but uh, it's still a counter nonetheless. Could have been against him. And a counter is a counter. Another counter going on. Nice. Um, aerial attack there by Rob. Roy's down to the last stock, and he's really early on in his second stock. Uh, Roy needs a big combo here to uh, stay in the competition. Otherwise, he's going to be down to the loser's bracket. Bear in mind, again, this match and next match, these people are not out of the tournament just yet. Uh, he'll have to lose this match and then the next loser's bracket fight to be out of the tournament. Oh, he gets jumped on. There's so much of that going on in these tournaments. Nice jabs. A lot of down tilts. A lot of down tilts. Oh, my goodness. There was about five there he went for. And he did land two of them. Oh, gets knocked to the right blast zone, but he doesn't die. Nice aerial attack by Roy, and he's really brought himself back into the game. He's only 59 behind now. Nice attack by Roy, though. Oh, he's getting him landed in the ground. That is a really good pummel for Roy, actually. <clears throat> he's not having it. He's going for the nares. He's going for the forward attacks, forward jabs. Oh, nice, nice forward smash. There's only 33 between these two now. Roy going for the down smash. That could have been it. But it's not it. Yeah, he goes for the grab. Up throw. Oh, nice laser. Not enough knockback to do, though. Gets smacked into the side of the stage, but he's not going to die. Nice upbeat. It's not going to deal enough knockback. It is going to do damage, though. And that is really what Roy needs right now. He's on 139. Just one uh, attack, really. Any aerial attack could kill it. And there you go. There's the tornado attack, the side B. For Rob and Roy actually brought it back a lot, but uh, he is still going to go down to losers. But Rob is into the uh, the winners' finals now, either against Mario or Bowser. So we've got Mario versus Bowser for the second instalment of the winners' semi-finals. And if anyone's wondering, I'm not updating the scores there because uh, it's just the best of one this tournament, for the most part. All down smash there for Bowser. A lot of upbees going on by both characters. Oh, what is Bowser doing? <laughs> Call yourself a level 8 CPU and you're just running around. So Rob took the last match. So coming up after this, it's going to be Roy versus, I believe, Peach. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi on my phone. That might be better. Yep, Roy versus Peach. For the fight after this one. So Bowser still on three stock, but Mario is making a comeback. Oh, nice up B. He's going to deal a lot of damage there. Oh, Nair. Small kick by uh, by Mario. Oh, into the into the combo. Nice one. Nice one by Mario. Tornado attack. A lot of Nairs. Oh, and he gets spiked through the, uh, the side platform. So if anyone's unfamiliar with this game, uh, well, nice down B there by... Uh, by Bowser. Is Mario able to recover? Yes, he is just about. Yeah, so uh, those side platforms are... This is called an, a battlefield stage because there's a, a there's a stage called Battlefield uh, and it's shaped exactly like this. And there's also a form called Omega, which we just played on not long ago, where there are no platforms. There's just one big platform in the middle. Oh, down smash, but he's only going to do damage on the way down. Nice tornado attack, and Mario, although 155 damage behind, he does get Bowser down to two stock. This is still a winner's bracket fight. Oh, down B, and Bowser, straight away, is uh, going to bring Mario down to the last stock. Up smash, into the forward tilt. He's running straight up to him, he's going for the, uh, for the grab.
Nice uh, forward tilt again. Oh, on the fire, even doing a little bit of knockback there. Mario, oh, he knocks Bowser into the side of the stage, almost managing to get a kill there. But Bowser is really late on into this stock. Well, sorry, Mario is. It's going to be a tall order for him to take this. And yeah, another tilt attack. And Bowser is going through to the winner's finals. That will be against Roy, for clarification. And that was a three-minute fight on the dot. Now, though, we've got Roy versus Peach. And I believe this is the first time we're actually doing this in order. Because on the, on the bracket, it's actually listed from bottom to top. And normally, it's listed from top to bottom. <laughs> so that's why it confuses me. But we're actually doing it in order this time. Doesn't really matter. But either way, Roy vs. Peach followed by Mario vs. Shulk. And the loser of these next two fights is going to get 5th place. They're going to win 2 stock and, uh, sorry, 2,000 points. And wow, Roy concedes a stock in 15 seconds. That is a really quick stock for Peach. Nice aerial attacks by Peach here. We're only 40 seconds into the match and we're already seeing Roy taking significant damage in his second stock. Yep, yeah, so Mario versus Shulk after this. Shulk. And then we've got Rob versus Bowser for the winners' finals. Actually, we're supposed to play the losers' semi-finals after this. You know, we'll do that. <laughs> Rob versus Bowser will be after the losers' finals. So Peach finally loses a stock after a minute and a half, almost a minute and twenty seconds, to be precise. Uh, this is a CPU battle. Yes, this is a uh, a CPU league that I host on the channel. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not playing the game. <laughs> uh, you can tell because both of the uh, both of the players are great, but um, yeah. That's why I'm doing all this commentary. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really fun, though, to commentate on all of these. And, uh, I mean, I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, the viewers, uh, regular viewers here as well, have uh, really been enjoying it. Been putting in a few predictions, actually. Not that we can really predict anything so far, because uh, this is the first time we're seeing those uh, these eight fighters play in these tournaments. That's why it's going to be more interesting in two weeks time where we're going to see a 16 player tournament but all of them will have played before or most of them will have i'm pretty sure three of them can't because there's not a multiple of eight characters in the game <laughs> all right peach is down to the last stop but roy is on 118 damage yeah i'm pretty sure this is the first cpu league to ever be hosted i'm pretty sure yeah, maybe you should do it with your amiibo. A lot of people do amiibo tournaments because they're better fighters. Like, I'm using level 8 because level 9 is harder to commentate on. But, I mean, by all means, you could definitely do it for amiibo. Um, I would do it for amiibo, but I only have, like, 4 or 5. So, not enough to do it for this, this sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, pe people... I think there's a 24-7 stream on Twitch, I'm pretty sure. While I was looking through the directories, that's actually how I found your stream, actually. Because I was randomly looking through directories um, and, like, just checking out people's streams. Roy, though, not able to recover. Peach going through. Um, but, yeah, I was looking through directories. And there's a 24-7 amiibo fighting... Or it's either CPU fights or amiibo fights. But it's not a league. And this is, this is all sort of joined on. Like... Singular tournaments, I've done them in the past, but they're not as fun to, to do, really. That's why I've uh, I've sort of made the switch. They're really popular, though. Like, these have proved really popular on things like YouTube in the past. Uh, when the game originally came out, people were really interested in this sort of thing. Oh, nice camera action. What a great song. <laughs> this is actually in my before stream playlist. Pretty 
Oh, oh, down smash. Wow. If that landed, that would have been significant. Forward smash does land, though. That would have been good. Yeah, so, you do so do you play a lot of Smash on your channel, Moddy Fox? Yeah, I've noticed you do stream um, later than I'd normally watch Twitch a lot of the time. <laughs> Going to join again this Sunday? Uh, I'm not sure. Again, as I said, um, a lot of the time you stream later than I'm able to watch. <laughs> but if I'm able to, then definitely. I mean, the sort of times I watch on Twitch nowadays are kind of sporadic. Like, I, I don't really have as much time to watch Twitch, not gonna lie. Uh, but obviously because of quarantine, uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, your time zone's 12. Yeah, mine's 5, 12 p.m. So, I'm five hours ahead. But yeah, it's all good, no. I, I watch a lot of American streamers, but it's all good. I mean, I was just this morning watching an Australian streamer, so... <laughs> um, yeah. If I can, then I'll uh, then I'll check it out definitely. I need to add your channel to my auto host as well because I don't have a massive amount of channels on my auto host, and a lot of things for because a lot of my viewers are American as well, and look for my channel I guess to uh, to find what to watch sometimes. <laughs> um, but obviously, if I'm not hosting anyone at night where I am uh, then chances are it will probably let you have the auto host so I'll definitely set up for uh, for you to be on there high up so Roy versus Peach uh, who won that one started to stream two hours early so 8pm for me yeah yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> Nice grab there for Shulk. Oh, Peach one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that helps a lot because I forget a lot of the time. I end up not filling in the bracket by accident and then having to check back in the VOD. Yeah, I, re I remember now. Peach did win. Mario and Shulk. And Mario's down to the last stock. Again, this fight, uh, the loser is going to be... Why do I have to reload every time? <laughs> yeah, the loser is actually going to be getting joint fifth place. And wow, exactly the same as the second stock. We're going into the last stock completely even on a clean slate. 21 damage forward smash. Oh, wait, you don't play smash? All right, that's cool. <laughs> smash is a great game. Like, a great game to play competitively. A lot of people have been... Um, have been complaining recently though about the online. I don't know if you've noticed, like people have been putting hashtag fix ultimate online and things like that because there's a lot of input lag, but it's still really fun to play online and it's it's cool to play with viewers, but I tend to stick to things like Mario Kart <laughs> generally. Oh, you have it? Just play casually since you're really bad. I used to play casually. I used to not play much at all really. Um, and then I hosted a tournament, I say this every stream, I hosted a tournament at my school and uh, everyone really liked it there and after that I started watching a bit of competitive Smash and uh, since then I've been playing it not really high level but like I've really gotten into Smash and it, I, I believe it's my second most played game on the Switch besides Splatoon. Alright, Shulk takes the win over Mario. So, although Peach does go through to the next fight, uh, Mario is getting knocked out for 5th place. Uh, alongside Roy, they're both going to be earning 2,000 points, but now all the characters still in the tournament are guaranteed 6,000 score each. So that is a massive, massive advantage for them. So, uh, we're moving on to the loser semi-finals now. Shulk versus Peach. going to get them colours the right order. <laughs> Choke versus Peach. 
yeah, what I'd recommend if you want to get good at Smash or just like basic sort of skills, um, I would say, like, well, what I did was I made a list of all the characters that I enjoy. Uh, well, me and my friend did. He's got like a top 15 list and we constantly change it over time depending on we're, what we're uh, feeling like we, we're enjoying playing. Oh, nice counter, but it isn't going to land, actually. It isn't going to land a counter-attack. A shock. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, and Peach is down to two stock now. Yeah, for me, personally, I actually have a full list written down of all the characters ranked. I'll actually get it up here. You probably won't be able to see it on stream. But if I just go on here... Yeah, I mean, I've got a practice sheet and everything against certain characters. Like, I was practicing Mario, Jigglypuff. I play a lot of offline, to be fair. Because uh, I, I do find there is quite a lot of lag. Because I don't actually have a LAN adapter for the Switch. That's why I don't really play much online Smash on stream. I prefer to do CPU tournaments. Simply because I don't really want to wish it on people. Because not only... Like, Smash is bigger in America... Not only that, I don't have a LAN adapter, so my internet's even worse. So, I mean, I can't really take part in tournaments a lot of the time because they're often just America only. Yeah, so, like, my top five is Link, Ness, Jigglypuff, Rob, and Terry. But I haven't, I haven't touched a lot of those characters in a long time. So, that may well have changed. But I, I really enjoyed Terry when he came out. He was a really good character. I enjoy the uh, the special moves. Hold on a minute, is this Mario Tennis music? Where even is m this map supposed to be set? Because this isn't this isn't Mario Tennis a Mario Tennis map. <laughs> anyway, both still on two stock. Oh, Peach hitting triple digits. Shulk's going for the jump speed boost. Going to manage to recover there. Obviously, jump does run out really quickly. My little brother loves to challenge all my amiibos, so it's fun watching him suffer. Oh, level 50 amiibos are really tough. Also, I don't know if you know, but if you transferred an a amiibo from Smash 4, like the Wii U version, over to this version, which is Ultimate, obviously. Oh yeah, this is Earthbound. Now I know. Um... Yeah, if you transfer them over, they actually don't give you a level 50 straight away. It gives you, like, level 12 or something. I'm pretty sure because the level 50 in this game is better than level 50 in Smash 4. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure why they did that. Oh, and Shulk down to the last stock now. Peach at a 25 damage disadvantage. Going for the grab and the up throw. Somehow he managed to counter the... Uh, the parasol there, getting a little bit, uh, well, getting a counter, but not a counter attack, as it, as I said earlier. Oh, nice, smacking him into the side of the stage. Oh, and he spot dodges through the side B. Parasol get dealing a little bit of damage. Speed boost. Oh, what's he gonna do with the speed boost? This map's really good for Shulk because a lot of the nares and things can go through the platforms, the neutral air. But for Peach, it is a bit of a struggle. Nonetheless, she's holding her ground. She's only 25 behind. She's only 10 behind now. All these characters need is one smash attack. Back throw for Shulk. Peach is recovering. Oh, he goes for the down tilt, but he's not going to land it. Oh, the counter again. Every game that's happened, the counter carries it for Peach. But that's why Peach is down to loser's bracket. Because she did lose one fight because of it. Oh, and the upbeat. Oh, and that was so close to a kill, but he doesn't confirm it. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Aerial attack. Oh, he goes for, she goes for the grab. Goes for the back throw. He's going for the jump. Gets the first stage of the upbeat. Oh, and the parasol. Did in a decent amount of knockback. Oh, and the side beat. And Peach takes it. Oh, my God. Wow, Peach takes it after that. That is mad. I did not expect that. Well, there you go. Uh, Peach takes it. That was really close to Shulk taking that uh, that victory there. But nonetheless, Shulk getting 6,000 points. Uh, definitely not to be sniffed at. And now, Peach versus uh, 
for this one. One second. Peach versus the loser of 12. So it's Rob versus Bowser now. And whoever wins this is guaranteed 13,000 score in the tournament. They are going to be in a really high league. Uh, if anyone's unaware, there are different leagues in this tournament, uh, in this tournament league. And uh, the top one is Jupiter. So we, we take the planets because it's the CP universe. We take the planets and the biggest planet, Jupiter, uh, that's the best. And then Mer Mercury is the worst. So... Uh, definitely the winner of this tournament is going to be up there, possibly in Jupiter. Uh, it's all going to depend on their performance in the Purple Comets, which is the 16-player tournaments. So, so far, Richter, Isabel, and Samus. Samus is good. I like Richter, but... I don't know. I liked Richter, but... I seem to not really be that good at him recently. <laughs> um, Isabel is really interesting, because she's not very good competitively, but... I've seen a lot of really good Isabels, so by all means, if you can make it work. That's that's the good thing about this game. There's so many viable characters. And Rob able to recover. No, he's not. He's actually going to concede a stop because of that. Although Rob basically have a, has an infinite update, if you know how to do it. Yeah, Samus is still in my top 15, I believe. I can pull that up again. One sec. Yeah, uh, Samus is my 8th place character. Yeah, the thing is, the reason why I wrote a, uh, a actual list of characters down is because a lot of the time with games, I just get you know, really burnt out and return to the game after a few months, especially with Splatoon. Splatoon, I have not played in over a year, and it's only because of this free demo that I'm playing it again. <laughs> uh, not because, I mean, I have the game, it's just that it's brought it to my attention again. Uh, and obviously, there's a new Splatfest coming soon, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness, right at the end of that Nair for Rob, getting that kill. He's really far behind, though. Oh, nice, nice aerial attack. He's, he's not, he's far behind, but he's he's standing his ground. He's brought him to 58 damage though. A lot of down tilts. That was with the forward smash. We don't know what the next game's gonna be, so I'm just gonna delete the, uh, the text from the bomb. And Bowser's down to the last stock. Wow, that is incredible, the way that Rob has been able to bring that back. That is crazy. And suddenly, it's really even now. Oh no, as soon as I say that, Bowser, only 20 behind though. 28 behind. Oh my god, I thought Bowser wasn't gonna be able to recover there. Oh my goodness. If that was a fail like that. The thing is, right, the CPUs, they're very good at recovering. But when one doesn't recover, that's why it's such an upset when they don't recover. Like Rob, at the start of this match, he didn't recover. And it was, oh my god, two nares into the up smash? Wow. Okay, he's not out of this fight yet. He's actually eight in front. Nair. Oh, he goes for the up smash, but he doesn't get to finish it. Another nair. Another nair. Jabs going on now. Gyro, not charged. Oh, Bowser. Goes for a few jabs, but they're not going to land. They're both broken 130. And bear in mind, both these characters are heavy. And Rob... Rob wins! After the, uh, the really early kill. Early. The really early death, rather. Crazy match there. So Rob versus Bowser. Rob is now guaranteed second place and 13,000 score. That is a big, big head start for Rob in the uh, in the CP universe. Nonetheless, though, 
We're now going to see a rematch, and this happens every tournament. At some point, somewhere, there is a rematch. And this is what we are calling the rematch. Uh, we have Bowser versus Peach. Okay, this is the loser's finals, so it's still a best of one. But, if you draw your minds back to right at the start of the tournament... Uh, actually... Wait, Bowser versus Peach? Uh, I believe these two have played against each other. No, they haven't actually. Peach versus Mario and then Mario versus Bowser. So we've actually not had a... Uh... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've had a, uh, a rematch fight during this tournament. Wow, instantly though, Bowser is down one stock. Yeah, most tournaments we end up with a uh, with a rematch fight, but actually this one, I don't think we've had one. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's right. Oh, I don't think we have had one, sorry. Both down to two stock now. Few fire, uh, fireballs being spat. Only a basic turnip, not going to deal a massive amount of damage. He goes for the grab. Oh, nice parry. Nice parry to counter that, uh, uh, that forward smash, which is really, really scary for Bowser. Oh, nice up tilt. Does quite a lot of knockback, actually. Considering it's relatively easy to uh, to activate. Okay, both fighting really close to the side of the stage again. Is Peach going to be able to edge guard? No, she's not. Bowser's back on the stage really comfortably. Bowser is so far behind. He is over 80 damage behind now. 70, 80 damage. Yeah, he's now 82 behind. He needs to make a comeback. Oh, nice down B. Gonna deal a lot of damage there. Oh, into the up smash. And because of that really early kill, he's actually gonna be in front now. He's on the last stock, but so is... Uh, sorry, Peach is on the last stock, but so is Bowser. We're on onto a clean slate now, and instantly 25 damage is dealt to Peach. Nice aerial attacks by Peach here. A lot of hovering going on just like a human player would. Down smash goes on. Nice grab into the pummel, into the up air. Oh, and the spike into the ground. Down A for Bowser. He lands A down B. Not directly though. And whoa, just a... An aerial attack manages to kill, and Bowser, even though he's really far behind at the start, he's going through. So Peach, in 2 minutes 35, is eliminated, and she is going to be getting uh, 8,000 score, which is really, really good. Uh, well, I mean, here's our, uh, here's our rematch fight, because these two literally just played against each other. We've got Rob versus Bowser again. But this time, uh, this is a best of three. And this actually happened last tournament, I believe. Where uh, they got close, but... Actually lost. Yeah, there were two characters that fought each other before the grand finals. And um, they actually fought. And then one of them won. Stayed in the winner's... Uh, the winner's bracket for the entire tournament. And then when it got to the grand finals and they fought each other again, uh, the actual, the first win went to the loser of the original fight. Uh, but after that, it managed to uh, to win four in a row. So <laughs> it was a bit of a wipe. Oh, sorry, two in a row. Yeah, so Rob again versus Bowser. Uh, so this is a best of three. But Bowser is on the ropes here because he needs to win two sets of best of three. One set of best of three to reset the bracket. And the other one to actually win the tournament. Because right now, Rob hasn't lost a fight yet. So, for it to be even in a double elimination tournament, nice spike there by Rob. Um, he needed that early kill. He desperately needed that to, uh, to stay in this game. 
So obviously for Rob to lose a double elimination tournament, he needs to lose twice. And because he hasn't lost yet, Rob, uh, Bowser is going to need to defeat him twice. So that one game that Rob managed to win in the first face-off between these two is crucial. Because had it have been the other way around, it would be Bowser with the massive advantage. So actually, Bowser needs to win a minimum of, uh, of four games to go through and win. But Rob only needs to win a minimum of two. He just needs to win this one and the next one. How's it going for the uh, the off-screen tilt attack? Instantly, though, up air. And Rob's down to the last stock. It's going to be really interesting if we can uh, buck the trend of the winner going 2-0 up straight away. We've only had two tournaments so far out of our eight tournaments where... Uh, the winner has lost the fight in the final. We've had one tournament where the loser actually won the game. They won four games in a row to beat the other player. Bowser's really late onto his stock. He's making his comeback here. Oh, up smash! But he doesn't land it. Oh, he goes for the grab. Oh, and Rob dies with Bowser on two stock. So, Underdog goes 1-0 up. This is when it gets interesting. All right, we're going to need to play it again. 2 minutes 32, that took. We're going to play the same fight. Bowser versus Rob. And again, Rob needs to win two in a row. And no bracket reset will happen. And he wins. Or, Bowser wins this one, or the next one in this set... And he'll reset the bracket, and we're just down to one final best of three. Oh, gets hit twice by the gyro. Had to shield that up, uh, that up smash. Jabs, a lot of jabs, a lot of down tilts. Oh my goodness, Rob loves the down tilts, really loves the down tilts. Goes to the grab. The side B grab, actually. A lot of nares. On Bowser's part. Up smash by Rob. Rob's hitting triple digits though. Bowser is actually winning this fight again. Is he going to be able to get a kill confirmation though? Both hitting triple digits. But they are both heavy characters. And as we're going to see in the future. Really far distant future. Uh, but it will be in the future. In the second set of Purple Comet tournaments. There you go Rob down to two stock. We're actually probably going to see this fight again. Because I'm going to split all the characters in this game into five groups, depending on their weight in the game. So Rob and Bowser are both heavy characters, so the chances are they're both going to be in the same group of heavyweight characters. And it will be interesting to see who wins that fight as well. Because it will be a lot more broken down, that tournament, compared to this eight-player, uh, basically a friendly fight, really. Because all you need to win is... Uh, Three games and this best of three. And you've won the tournament. Nice up B there by Bowser. A lot of jabs. Both hit broken 100 damage again. Bowser on 150. Invulnerability frames are saving him. Dash attack does land. Are we going to break 300 combined damage right now? Yeah, we are. 300 combined damage on the field right now. Bowser's still on three stock. Two minutes into the fight. And Rob on 170, 180 finally taking the hit. He's down to the last stock. It just depends on whether Rob can come back. Because if he can't, we're going to reset the bracket. And it's going to be a completely even fight. This has only happened once before in eight tournaments. Is the ninth uh, bout going to be the second time we see this happen? Bowser is looking like he could three stop right now. Finally concedes his first stock uh, and we're down 16 damage for Rob but Bowser's still got two stock left he's got a massive advantage right now if he manages to lose this I have no idea um, how he would but if he does he's still got another chance to reset this bracket a lot of jabs oh and the forward smash Bowser wins on two stock so he's resetting the bracket he resets the bracket this is the second time this has happened is it going to be in Bowser's favour, or is Rob still going to take this? 
All right, we've reset the bracket now. Just going to input that into the uh, onto the bracket. We have had a bracket reset for Bowser. Three, two, one, okay, we're playing on Pokemon Stadium two or one. I don't even know. <laughs> I assumed it was two because that's the tournament legal one. Okay, so we've now got Bowser versus Rob again. Oh, nice parry by Rob. Goes into the back throw. Oh, he doesn't point the laser down, though. That could have been a really nice combo. Fair lands. Oh, and the spike! He spikes him. Oh, nice shield by Rob, otherwise he would have been dead meat there. Bowser taking Rob to triple digits. Oh, the laser misses though. Gyro dealing a little bit of damage. Oh, up smash. Both on triple digits again. Oh, and the nair by Bowser. He's dealing damage, but he's not dealing knockback. And up B again. It deals knockback, but not enough of it. Nice laser. Is he going to do anything with that? No, he's not. Up tilt by Bowser. Brings Rob down to two stock. And incredibly, even though Rob won the first game, I'm not sure if it was by a margin or not. Uh, by a large margin. But this one is looking really good for Bowser. And not only that, he's used Rob's own gyro down B against him twice there. right at the end of his lifespan. Bowser's still on three stock. Is he going to take the third game in a row in the Grand Finals? This is going to be extraordinary if this happens. Honestly. Rob. He's almost on triple digits again. There you go. There's his Nair. 144. Oh, Tornado. And Bowser's down to two stock now. We're both down to two stock. 90 damage deficit for Rob. He's on a triple damage uh, second stock now, though. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Whoa, that was nice. That was really nice spike there by uh, by Bowser. Wow. Uh, not going to make a massive difference because he was really late on into the stock, but that, if that was right at the start, that would have been so epic because he spiked him sort of sideways because of the angle he hit him at. That was a really good play there by Bowser, and he's not giving up yet. Going for another down B, but the side platform's going to stop him from... Uh, Doing a massive amount of damage. Bowser with the Nair again. And up air, Bowser wins on two stock yet again. Is he going to take four games in a row? Bowser still needs to win one of these next two fights now. This is a simple maths calculation. All right, Bowser either wins this one or he wins the next one. If Rob wins two times in a row, all this effort will be completely wasted and Rob will still take the tournament and win 23,000 score. We're playing on another Battlefield map. Playing on the Banjo map as well. Going for double Nair. Fully charged laser. Oh, that was really crucial for Rob. He needed to uh, to stop Bowser's down smash there. Nice side B from Bowser. And the Nairs going on by both characters. A lot of Nair spam. And up air for, uh, for Rob. It's a really highly used move. Rob's almost on triple digits. Yeah, you go. He's on 110 flat. Bowser's on 75. There you go. There's the gyro. It's down. Is Bowser going to utilize it? He's going to try and grab it, but he's only going to just get hit by it. Nice parry by Bowser into a kill, and he yet again takes the first stock. He needs this fight or the next one to win the tournament. It's incredible how Rob even managed to win a game in the first place. 
against Bowser, or even against anyone, to be honest. The way he's playing right now. Nice up air, though, by Rob. Fully charged laser, doesn't land. Down smash, again, doesn't land. Oh, there you go, nice. Gets the grab, pummel, into up smash. Nice combo there by, ba uh, by Rob. It's worked three times this tournament now. He's going for them there, but he's not going to be able to finish the move to deal the damage. Up tilt by, by Bowser. Into the nair. Into the double nair. Down A. Another nair. <laughs> oh, and he's going for the single punch. Rob is really late into the stock. Is it going to be four games in a row? There's only 40 damage between them right now. Rob, he just needs to do one smash attack here. And he could put himself right back in it. Nice up air by Rob. A lot of that going on. Oh, up smash doesn't land. And the single jab by Rob does, though. Forward smash. Not going to do a massive amount of knockback. Rob is now on 175 damage. And even with the downfall of the uh, of the down smash, oh sorry, the up smash, he's going to be able to uh, get KO'd. He's down to the last stock now. If Rob concedes this stock, he has lost this tournament. And the grand final, 4-0. Bowser is so late on into this stock. Rob needs this kill ASAP. Otherwise, he cannot win and there you go i'm not sure if he's able to recover from that he's so close to being able to recover but not quite not quite and that is the key not quite 59.6 to zero. Oh, and the forward smash and he kills wow bowser wow no epic ending there all right <laughs> all right then I, I see where i stand as a commentator as tournament official I, I declare that should have gone on for longer, that final stock. Anticlimactic as usual. <laughs> GG though. Four games for Bowser. Incredibly, Rob actually managed to beat him and bring him down to losers. And then lose four against him in a row. In a row. Four in a row. Anyway. I mean, Rob has not lost at the end of the day. He's gained a lot out of this. Um... If I just fill in the rest of this bracket here. And then we're going to go through, uh, as we know, the standings. Going to go through them one last time. If I just report that the tournament has finished. End the tournament. There you go. And if we go on the standings, in first place, Bowser. With just one loss and five wins. Rob with three wins. He's going to... Uh, sorry, Bowser's going to be getting 23,000 points. And he's going to be shooting right up to Jupiter League. That is really setting him up well. Uh, Rob gets three wins. Getting 13,000 score. Going to end up in a decent league. Uh, probably Saturn or Uranus. That's good. Uh, Peach getting three wins as well. 8,000 score. Again, set up pretty well. Shulk for two wins. Getting 6,000 score. Now, Mario and Roy, one win each, getting 2,000 score apiece. And Ice Climbers and Joker, joint 7th place. I would have expected Ice Climbers, but I wouldn't have expected Joker, I'll be honest. Um, both with no wins, they're going to be getting minus 2,000 score. They're going down from their default 200,000 score down to 198k, and they're not going to be starting off well. But they might have redemption in two weeks' time, who knows? Um... Yeah, so in two weeks' time, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same break on YouTube. Uh, once this airs on YouTube, we might do a one-week break. We're going to be moving on to the Purple Comet tournaments, okay? Now, let me tell you guys the order of those tournaments. Uh, we're going to, first off, we're going to have the... Uh, if I just go on here. So, it's double elimination, 16 players. And in the... In the finals, the losers' finals, winners' finals, and grand finals are all uh, are all three. Uh, sorry, best of three. They're all best of three. Um, now, in the next one, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the timeless 
characters. So it's all the characters that are still in games nowadays. Uh, hey Beaver Tom, how are you doing? They're all in uh, games nowadays, so things like Legend of Zelda, things like that, that are uh, old games, but they're still going to this day. Uh, then we're going to have the uh, the Mario series, I believe. Uh, just the 14 Mario fighters in the game. Then we're going to have Pokemon vs. Fire Emblem, so the 8 Pokemon and 8 Fire Emblem characters. Then we're going to have Retro, I believe. Uh, and then we've got Arcade. So we've got five tournaments, and then the winner of each one will go in one final fight in the Golden Comet tournament. So uh, that's what we've got to look forward to in two weeks' time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later on YouTube. Peace out.